Hello, welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host, Iggy. Yay. And tonight, or should I say this morning, because it's now 12.30 a.m. in Jacksonville, I would like to share with you a few uh, soldiers that I found. And uh, without further ado or preamble, let's just jump right in and get going with it. What we have here on the very top shelf is something that sort of confused me at first because I had forgotten that I had purchased these. These are Reverse Blue Confederates by IMEX, I-M-E-X, Import Export Company. A British company that was established, I think, in the 1970s. I did a video about them once before and went in a little bit of the history of IMAX, but I've already forgotten it, I guess. Anyway, uh, these are reverse blue Confederates, and that's what threw me about it. And also the number of figures here. Um, I'm guessing they it must be two boxes of them because this seems like an awful lot of figures up here to just be one box. So I'm guessing it's a couple box worth of reverse blue Confederates. And, of course, that really threw me off for a while. And uh, while I was researching what these were, I stumbled upon across the Confederates and noticed that the poses were identical. And that's how I figured it out. These figures here also threw me for a loop. Um, I guess I should remind you that I didn't mark anything. Everything was out of their packages and put into baggies. And I didn't, and I stupidly did not mark any of the baggies as to what the contents were because I thought I wouldn't forget. Well, 20, 25 years later, oops, Iggy forgot what he was dealing with here. But these are butternut, well, they claimed they were butternut, but they're actually sort of a, a British khaki looking color. Um, this looks like with the British color of the British war during the Anglo-Boer War and also the... Uh, uh, Sudan campaign of 1898. And uh, these are reverse Yankees in so-called butternut. Well, we should say allegedly butter, butternut, but more of a tan, as you can see there. And then the last group, I think they're accurate or IMAX, but I don't know. And I really like them a lot. And I wish I could remember what they were. But again, I didn't save any of the packaging. But I'll do some more close-ups of these because I, I really, uh, some of the poses I don't like, but a lot of it I do like. And so I want to share that more closely with you. So let's go to the top and take a look at what we have here. By the way, I'm in the cowboy kitchen, as you can see here. I haven't shown you that. I haven't shown you guys my cowboy kitchen in a while, have I? I made that lamp. I put, uh, I put this ribbon on the bottom. I did kind of a sloppy job of it. And I tied a... A uh, piece of rope around the urn, and I painted that steer skull on the lampshade, and then put uh, a piece of rope around the top there to make it more of a uh, western themed lamp. And let's see. All right, that's enough of that. You guys probably aren't interested in that anyway. So, um, these are reverse blue IMEX Confederates. 
And they've got some really cool poses here because of them being reverse blue. We're getting a better selection of men with slouch hats. And the Union Army wore slouch hats too. Uh, they're probably more informal in the West. In fact, when um, Western troops paraded at the end of the war, everyone was astonished by their appearance because uh, they had these slouch hats and really long beards. They looked bedraggled, I guess. And uh, though they looked sloppy because their uniforms were faded and worn out and patched, Everyone was impressed by their demeanor and the uh, air of confidence that they exuded. So we have some excellent poses here, such as this rifleman here. Very nicely done. Uh, let me, there's a couple riflemen here. Uh, we have this one here. He's wearing the uh, overcoat. And it has the cape, as you see there. He's got the forage cap. That's a pretty cool figure. And what I like about this is I have a lot of riflemen. Uh, usually there's a lot of poses that are not rifle, you know, pointing their rifle in a firing line type of situation. But uh, we have this fella in the slouch cap and this one here in the long overcoat then of course we have the kneeling figures firing so this one comes with a lot of firing positions which i really like and i like the charging figures quite well they look a little bit more natural than this one here because you guys know how i don't like this pose Every set that I get that has a pose like this, I have to say something. Nobody runs like that. They run like that. That looks more natural. Actually, the most natural looking one running is this one here. His legs lifted a little high, but he looks a little more natural than, the, than this guy back here. Uh, they have the officer over here. He looks natural running. And of course, this set came with uh, artillery figures, like this guy with his hands over his ears. There's also a guy with a sponge. No, he's got a screw. He's got the screw to take out... Uh, any stuff that would debris that was left behind after a discharge. They use this screw type of thing. Or is that a sponge? No, I guess that's a sponge. Uh, I wouldn't want that job because um, if you did it wrong, you could lose your uh, part of your team. If the guy shoved a, a, a cartridge down the barrel and there was still a little burning uh, debris in the barrel, it would ignite the cartridge and that guy, well, what was left of him would be history. I, I really like this guy here. He's really cool, too. So it's a really nice set. Confederate Infantry by IMEX in reverse blue. Now, this one, these are Yankees, and it's also an artillery crew. And you can see he's got the sponge and the guy with his hands over the ear. And there's one pulling the lanyard. There's an officer, very good. He's actually got burn sides. That strange beard, if you want to call it a beard, that Ambrose uh, Burnside had. 
where it uh, was shaved off on the chin, but it had a little bit on the cheeks and a big mustachio. So these are all very nice figures. Now, Iggy comes down to this and he's like, I'm thinking they're either accurate or IMAX, but I don't know which because I threw away the packaging. And according to my journal, I bought these. You know, in, I think in the future what I'm going to do in my journal is write down the manufacturer and the date I purchased it and how much it cost. Uh, as it stands now, all I would do is put, uh, you know, for instance, I would put gun crew and I wouldn't give any descriptive information or how much it would cost, just the date of when I bought it. Well, that years later that I'm kind of flummoxed by the fact that I didn't write down any other pertinent information and none of these figures are marked. I really like it when figures tell who manufactured them on the bottom. And of course, none of these or any of these for that matter have any markings, but they've got some really great zwavs here. And let me give you an example of that. Like this figure here, he's got a really nice tassel on his cap. And you can see his distinctive uh, short jacket that has the, uh, excuse me, that camera's not focusing. Or is that me that's not focusing? <laughs> He's got the uh, waist length uh, short jacket. And they would have, a, I don't know what you'd call it, applique? Some strange, it almost looks weird, the strange designs that they would put on the jacket. And then there's another uh, suave pose here that's pretty nice. As you can see here, he's pretty good. Like I said, uh, because I didn't save any of the packaging and it's been uh, most of the Civil War figures that I've been showing you, I bought in the 90s or the late 80s. So that was 30 plus years ago. Good grief. It's hard to believe. And this one here, he looks like he's wearing the Jeff Davis hat. Uh, they call it the Jeff Davis hat because while he was uh, Secretary of War, I think it was under the Buchanan administration, um, they approved these hats and they called them Jeff Davis hats. And all the soldiers wore them, not just the Iron Brigade. In fact, a lot of the slouch hats are based on this because when it would rain, these hats would collapse and become slouch hats. Uh, an example of that would be, well, do I have an example of that? No, these hats are probably not Jeff Davis hats. These are just regular, like, civilian hats. The hat I wore when I was Civil War, I did, I wore, you know, a, um, I had a McDowell Kepi, which I wore once. And then uh, I, that was the, my last Civil War event. And I also had a forge cap and I had a brown civilian hat that would ha had a rounded crown. And I really like that. In fact, it's here in the in the cowboy kitchen. Should I show it? Uh, it's I got so much garbage sitting around right now. Uh, I don't really want to share what the kitchen looks like because you can see here it's it's a mess in here, and it's because I've been focusing all my energies on filming the soldiers, and I need to get them packed up and out of here. But if uh, one of you could leave a comment 
if you can positively identify these figures. Uh, right now, I'm having to just use conjecture. Conjecture. <laughs> That's all, folks. Iggy cannot talk conjecture on what they are. And I'm guessing accurate, maybe like a Series 2 or something, but I don't know, and I wish I did. And I tried looking them up on uh, eBay and also online, and I came up empty-handed empty after a couple hours, and I decided to give up because um, I, basically I want to go to bed. <laughs> Can you see what time it is? Tick, 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 tick. Okay, so those are the three sets of figures that I wanted to share with you before I went to bed. And I hope you enjoyed looking at them. And I'm going to do a, uh, I always promise you a quick panoramic sweep and then I forget. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay, second shelf. IMAX reverse butternut Yankees. Not quite a butternut color, but Nice khaki color, I suppose. This is reverse blue, light blue Confederates. And I'm glad that I bought a number of these because I really like these quite well. Okay, guys, that's all we've got for you this time. I want to thank you for enlisting in the Iggy Army, and I thank you guys for getting Iggy with it. So uh, why don't we all head back to Roy Rogers Ranch? It's been a while since we've done that. And uh, I promised you that if you enlisted in the Iggy Army, I would give you a bonus of $500, which you will never receive, of course. And also, um, you know, why don't we throw in an apple pie or a cherry pie, a homemade one? That that would be a fun thing to uh, induce enlistments, I think. Um, when you're in the Army, uh, you can get pretty hungry all the time. And so Iggy's Army is no different. You got to have that apple pie. <laughs> but you're not going to receive one. It's just a fake promise. So... Thank you, you guys, for coming along and getting Iggy with it. And uh, I think at the count of three, I'll say goodbye. That's one, two, three.